Okay, I'm about to show y'all how to make a bling bottle. Use any bottle. This is a wine bottle. So first, I took the stickers off the front and the back. And if there's any right there. Um, after you take the sticker off, wipe it down. Probably with some alcohol and like a rag or something. I'm going to do gold. First, take some tape and wrap the labels or where you don't want it to be. Where you don't want the glitter on it. Okay, now it looks like this. So now I'm going to do get some wax paper because it collects glitter and stuff real good, easy to clean up. And I'm going to get some Mod Podge. Don't need that much, I don't think. Then you take it and you're just going to go. Hold it wherever the tape is at and paint going down. going down. So I'm probably not going to do the bottom um, cause this isn't for anybody. It's just a tutorial. So I'm not going to cover the bottom, but you could cover the bottom. It's cute if you cover the bottom. Make sure you watch out for all these streaks and stuff. Um, Cause when you put your glitter on, it'll start drying that way. So if you had a bigger brush too, probably, but you know, clean them up like that. Put enough, but don't put too, too much cause you don't want it to be too thick, but then you want to put enough because you don't want it to be too clear. And then the glitter doesn't cover it and you can see through it. Like here's an example of something I put glitter on and you should probably do two coats, but I don't know if you could tell some spots you could kind of see through it, like right there. It's kind of, it's, um, so what happened right there, it was, it wasn't enough up there. Um, it was too thin, so you could still kind of see through the glass and I don't have any chunky spots, but if there were any chunky spots, or like thick spots and it wasn't smooth, it would be because... I put too much. So now that I got it up there for the most part, I'm gonna flip this over so that the glitter don't stick to that that little bit of glue that fell on it. So too cold. Start from the top, go down. Try to get the whole cup. Because if there's some spots, matter of fact, I might get that spray. Adhesive, but I don't know. Um, if you feel too lazy to do it, just go back over it with the. Go back over it with the um, Mod Podge stuff. So the reason why I didn't do the bottom is so that it could dry like that. Um, if I did the bottom, I would have to find another way to dry it and I don't feel like it. So I'm gonna let that sit right there. Then the next step would be to, I would spray it with this, like a glitter blast. You can use any type of sealer. I just use this because it kind of like makes the glitter mm -hmm. pop, make it like shiny. Or whatever so um it enhances the glitter um so step outside spray it from like a distance don't do it too close because it'll start running and it'll like give you like little patchy spots so stand from a distance and spray it around and what this is going to do is going to hold the glitter in so like if you had this and even once it dried if you ran your hand down it it's going to be like glitter all over your hand this will seal the glitter in place so that whenever you do use it or give to somebody or it, when you're handling it, it won't be like that. It'll, the glitter will be sealed in. It won't be glitter everywhere. So spray that, put it to the side, let it dry for maybe like 20 minutes or so. Um, and then we're going to tear the, take this cap off. 
So if you see any kind of spots that you feel like need to be filled back in, you can go back like you see like that right there. I'm not going to mess with it, but you could go back and put a little bit more of this over there. You could put some of that spray adhesive on it and put some more of that glitter on it to make it a little thicker. I'm not going to mess with it though. Then after you do that, I got this paper from, um, hold on, I might have ordered it off of Amazon or if I didn't order off of Amazon, I probably got it from Walmart, but it's, it's by Avery and they got different, um, papers that got different templates. This one is like the four. Um, so I bought this one and put an image on it that we're going to put on the wine bottle. Okay, so you, if you use Avery, if you use any other type of brand, um, I guess there's other ways to go about that. But since I'm using Avery, you'll go to Avery.com. They have templates right here. You find your template on the pack. It'll tell you what number the template is and it'll pull it up for you. Like, so this one is template number 835. So it'll have that template has the four um has the four spaces so you can print them out four at a time i just printed out one at a time because i only needed one but like you know it gives you four different spaces to work with so yeah so basically those are the four spots right there it's you can edit all of them like it says or you can edit one simple i edited one i came over here over here is self-explanatory you get the text, you get the image, whatever. You put it in there, write whatever you want to say. You could change the font however you want to change, however you want it to um, change. That's up there. You could change the template if you found out that that's not the right one. Preview and print. It basically goes to a preview and print. Comes out like this. So once this dries, you're going to take this and it. You see, like it's like a sticker comes off like a sticker you probably you can go in and measure out the picture and make sure it's to your liking but you know this is okay right now but it comes off like a sticker and you would just place it up there and then we're gonna put the rhinestones around it and that'll be it so after it dries we'll be back okay so we're back with the bottle so you remember what I was telling you? Okay, so let me work this stuff up. About the sealer. How it was everywhere. Now, it haven't probably had time to dry the most, but you see what I mean? It seals the glitter in so that it's just not glitter flying around everywhere. See? And look at that. Just maybe a little, little bit, but not that much. So that's the purpose of sealing the glitter um let me see where to start taking this over go ahead and take this tape off uh -huh. and this should give you better idea because the hard part is done and I'm good so you see and that cute so how I would go how I would do it is so you go ahead and take your I already showed you how to do these. I cut my head off a little bit, but it's okay. Tutorial purposes. You go ahead and take it. I'm going to put it on the side that got the most clear spots, which it's not that bad. You can't really tell, but I'm going to put it. You can put it up there a lot of the times. What I might do is I might put it up there first. Put it up there first and then just put the tape over it and then put the glitter around it so that the actual um so the actual thing sticks to the 
bottle and it doesn't have to stick to the glitter. But the reason why I did it like this, the reason why I did it like this is because I wanted to do the rhinestones. So, the thing about the rhinestones, I got my glue gun back here. I would take the glue gun and go on the edges because that what that'll do is the rhinestones will have something to stick to and then it'll also stick to the bottle. You know, so let's see, I won't go use this, but I'm not as well right here. So while this is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the rhinestones around the rim. Cause I think that's cute. Hmm. I know these ain't one by one rhinestone. Oh no. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah, you don't stop you need, put, put it beside yourself, see how long you need it. Yeah, I want to do like these three first. Because I'm using this to go around it. Yeah, it's peeling off, but it's okay. I got this heat gun warming up. But, like I said though, so the only reason that I did not initially go ahead and just put the picture on the bottle is because I didn't want to have to go through the stress of putting the tape over it and making sure the tape don't peel off none of the quality of the picture. Which just ways to go around it. But I'm trying to keep it short and easy. So I bought these rhinestones from Walmart. Of course, you could probably get them anywhere. And I just kind of go with the flow. I don't never really have a set way I'm going to decorate them when I start decorating them. I just kind of go and start doing whatever I um, think looks best. But the only thing with that is you got to kind of catch yourself so you don't start doing too much. Get beside yourself. Because see how I just how I did that right now? How that like that's cute and simple. I've been gonna start adding layers and stuff around it if I start doing too much, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. You know, that's kind of simple and to the point. This right here, I'm gonna ain't really warmed up yet. Let's get me. So what I'm gonna probably do is just run some of this around the back, and what I really could do is start setting the rhinestones around here. Matter of fact, let me see if I could do that. I'm going to just go ahead and put it on the paper. That way I know it's not going to peel up off this bottle. Because it's not sticking to the bottle. See that? So, these are not the ones I usually get. The ones I usually got, they peel down like a strip. Like you take it and it's a strip, which makes it so much easier. I don't know what this is. Hard. That's what it is. This looks like something. See, I think I'm making them in strips. It looks like you're supposed to take them off one by one. I actually think that's what you're supposed to do. But no. Nah. So I wouldn't get. See, I should have got the other one. The other ones I usually get, like the strip ones, those are at Walmart too. Um, Those are at Walmart too. I think I was trying to be cheap. Whenever I went and got this one, I mean this pack, either that or they was the only ones in there, cause I don't usually use this. And now I see why. It's on both sides. So you run across that back with a little bit of glue. Let's see? Mm-hmm. Just kind of go across the back like that. Find out where I want to put it at. Mm. Boom. Okay. There we go. There we go. And what I would do is, because I just kind of like put it in the middle. 
just to make sure it went on. So now what you could do is go on the outsides, like the part that's lifting up right here on the outside. Then you can do the outside. Not by myself. Yeah, you can go across them too. See, now that's sticking down. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Now let me do the same thing to the side that I just did to the other one. And peel that side down. I mean, press that side down too. You don't really gonna you're not really gonna have to do the top and the bottom because really since that middle is on and them sides are on this part really don't got no choice but to stay on. Look at that, ain't that cute? See at the top, you could kind of do it however you want to, put whatever you want to up there. This is like a little basic tutorial, a little basic bottle basic wine bottle tutorial ain't that cute so that's how you make your bling bottle if you like this video comment subscribe like share let me know what other type of videos you want me to make i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you later for the next one